A photocopy machine consists of the following important components. Fluorescent bulb, photosensitive drum, toner, and a conveyor belt for loading the blank paper. So here's how it works. When you place a document you want to be copied upside down on the glass and press the start button, an intense beam of light scans across the document from top to bottom. This light then gets reflected and falls on the photosensitive drum and here is where the magic happens. This photosensitive drum is a metal roller which is electrostatically charged by a high voltage wire called the corona wire. The positive charge from the corona wire gets transferred over to the drum This metal drum is coated with a photosensitive chemical called selenium. Selenium has the property of photoconductivity which means that in the dark it holds charge while in the light it will discharge, meaning it will allow electrons to flow. Now have a look at the document we want to copy. When a beam of light was scanned across the document, light got reflected from the white areas, whereas printed letters being black did not reflect any light. When this reflected light falls on the photosensitive drum, the areas of the photoconductor which was exposed to the light becomes conductive and gets discharged, whereas the areas of the drum that was not exposed to light remains positively charged. Thus we get an electrical shadow of the document on the photosensitive drum. Now as the photosensitive drum rotates, it carries this electrical shadow towards the toner. The toner is negatively charged particles, thus the toner particles stick to the electrical shadow which is positively charged. Thus, an ink image of the document is formed on the drum. Then a blank sheet of paper is fed up through the conveyor belt. As it moves along, the paper is given a strong positive charge. The positive charge on the paper is larger than the positive charge on the drum, and this allows the toner particles to be transferred from the surface of the drum onto a piece of paper. This paper then passes through two rollers. The heated pressure from the rollers permanently fuses the particles to the paper. This is why you get that nice, warm paper.